Hello everybody. Okay, what we're gonna try here today is I'm gonna make an attempt to explain how just how easy it is to come up with your tuned input circuit. This is this little Pi network that's hooked to your swamping resistor. And um, how we come about that. Okay, the math and everything and the why for I gave in an earlier video. And this is actually hands-on where you can see how this is done. In here right now is a 470 ohm, I don't know if the camera can even pick that up. It's a 470 ohm resistor. It's tied to the what would be the output end. In other words, there would only be a, a, a 0 0.01 blocking cap here going uh, to the grid circuit. And on this end, this is tied to ground. The swamp resistor is tied to ground. In the schematic, you'll notice that it's actually in series or in the circuit. But just for here, I've tied it to ground and tied this to the other end. The input from our little radio comes through this coax right here and into this end of the coil. Goes through the coil and then it gets matched. So we're at 50 ohms on this end and on this end we're matching to 470 ohms. Um, I always set my radio to channel 20 so we're right in the middle. Uh, that way once you get it tuned you can go either way and your your uh, SWR will actually end up being lowest on channel 20 and then only slightly raise one way or another up or down in frequency. The coil for just standard form I've just simply used a AAA battery to wind it around. See there it slides right in. I've just used the battery to form the wire and wind it. It's on all these just slip it on there and you wind your wire and it makes it real handy. That way you can always know what size you've got. You don't have to worry about well what size is the diameter. Just grab a AAA battery and you wind it on that and you got it. There is coil stock. This stuff's getting hard to find. But this was an Air Ducts. Uh, it's a seven turn on there. A little bit smaller wire. I'm using eight turns on here and in the schematics this is the one I've already checked on the test tube or the tube tester amplifier and actually checked the input and this is what I measured with the coil of eight turns and the uh, diagram and the readout for that is on your on the uh, 250B amp page that you'll get if you want if you got the schematics. So eight turns, 12 gauge wire. It's just under 7 16 diameter or the diameter of one AAA battery. It's about one and one eighth inches long, and it's spaced just under wire diameter. Just you can't quite get a wire down in between there but it's spaced far enough to where they're not touching. That's the main thing. Okay. I've got this one zeroed out. It will set our SWR meter. See, there it goes up. Zero it right down to... zero SWR and the measurements that I have printed are what this cap would measure if we just disconnected everything from it and tested it with a capacitance meter. But now I'm going to show you how little difference there is between this 470 ohm and the one that I am going to be currently using in there is a 619. So I'm going to give the radio just a little more or the amp rather a little more drive because the radio I have is only about three, right at three and a half, four watts. So I'm going to make it to where that'll give just a little more drive, a little bit higher resistance. Real simple. Now, 
Let me solder this real quick. Okay, we're on. So now, we're going to have lots of SWR because that's the wrong impedance just for right now. Well, okay, I lied. Not much, but we'll reset. Hope you can see that meter. I don't know. I haven't checked this to see if it's readable or not. But we'll calibrate. Basically, you get the idea of how to do this with your own setup. Yeah, a little bit of SWR. Okay. We'll try this in first. No. Okay. Try the other end. Okay, there we go. Just keep inching it down little by little. Almost get it. There, pretty good. There it is. Basically one to one match. Just that easy. Now the tube end of this will change a little bit once it's connected to the tube because you if you look in your data sheets you'll so you'll see that the tube has a measured input capacitance on the grid of uh, let's see what grab my data sheet here. What does it say? All of them are pretty close. Uh, okay, 15.7 picofarads for the 250B. 15.7 micromicrofarads. And that'll be on the grid. So, this pinch capacitor will actually be, you'll actually undo it just a little bit. So where it needs to go to less capacitance to make up for the added capacitance of the tube. But it won't be much. This will get you so close that you can take it off this little test setup, uh, drill your holes in your tube air box, mount this all up. You can shorten the wires, keep this all clean, have it tucked away close to the chassis. Uh, you're not going to want that long wires on it, but I just did it here just because it was easy to maneuver the stuff, you know, maneuver the resistors. These are probably getting hard to find. Uh, they're a 7 watt. Some of them are listed as 5 or 4 watt. You're going to want this resistor to be at least whatever your radio is putting out. And maybe just a little bit more wouldn't hurt. You can make this up out of several resistors to double up on the wattage or actually quadruple up on the wattage if need be because you could put two of these in parallel then put two more in parallel put those two in series and you'd come back out with the same resistance but you'd have four times the wattage of dissipation that's how easy that is to work with but it's easy where you don't have the box and the tube around just lay it on a little plate you could do this on aluminum but you need to be able to have solder lugs or something, ground lugs, to where you could hook all this to the plate, uh, to where you got a good ground plane under it. Uh, so your stray capacitance is about the same here as you would be when you hook it up underneath the tube. Okay, uh, let's see. Next video, well, uh, I've got to build the test setup, but uh, the mock-up for it. But we'll talk about how to come up with your plate tune and load 
on the uh, RF output side of the tube. I'll uh, show the coil for that and uh, basically it's going to be tuned up the same way. Um, the way I do it, I don't need uh, a vector network analyzer or anything. I just use a known good CB radio, a known good SWR meter, and uh, you just hook it up. You use the tube uh, output impedance that's listed in the uh, data sheet. In most cases, it's going to be 4,000 ohms, and uh, you just tune the coil up to that and I'll come up with those dimensions in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching. And, uh, well, did it to myself again. <laughs> if you need to contact me directly, feel free to. Might be hard to see in the videos. Radiomedic111 at yahoo.com and oh yeah please be sure to hit that like button if you would please that's a that's a vote for the for the video that it's being liked and that may help us get to more people thank you for watching and we'll see you in uh, what would be number seven yeah part seven okay coming up all right thank you for watching bye now